Hey guys, so I'm here to show you guys my Inktober 2020 drawings. So here I have my little sketchbook. So for day one, I had fish as my prompt and I had been going in the direction of a fish in a fishbowl, but obviously I didn't stick with that. So I drew a person who got turned into a mermaid. I think it looks a lot better and I personally like it a whole lot more than the other idea that I had had. So we had wisp next and I decided to go kind of like a will of a wisp kind of vibe. Um, so I have this lady here she's made out of candle wax and her flame is her head and her hands is kind of her body i really like the drips as a dress i think it looks great um it just makes me really happy this is really fun to draw for me so this next prompt really had me stumped i didn't want to do uh kind of just google the definition of bulky i did that a lot with these just kind of get an idea and it came up like bulky luggage and so i was like hey we'll do that with a treasure chest just because like why not i mean it's fun. I don't know. Just treasure. That's always fun, right? <laughs> so, um, I was very smart when I did this next one, and I drew it upside down. Uh, so this is radio. It's just kind of like a radio show host, and I drew it out. I sketched it out. I had it all done, and I was like, oh, it's perfect. It looks so good. And then I was like, it's upside down. And then I was like, contemplating, like, do I erase it? Do I not? And then I was like, you know what? I like it, and I don't care if it's upside down, and it looks really good, and I'm not doing that all over again. So I kind of just dealt with it. <laughs> So for blade, I decided to do three different kind of parts with a blade. I wanted to use, uh, I have a sword I made, and so I kind of use that as a reference photo to understand how that works because I don't know how to do that. So I took pictures of myself doing these poses and then just drew them on here. I really like how it turned out. On to rodent. So I really didn't want to do this prompt. I know, I just didn't really like it because the only thing I could think of was like a mouse. I'm like, mm, that's basic. And I just didn't want to do that, and so I kind of just did a girl who's part mouse, and she's wearing a cheese skirt. You can't tell that, though, because it just looks like polka dots, but it's fine. I might go back and color it so you can tell a bit more, but I like how it turned out. This one was so much fun to make, so I saw Fancy, and I immediately thought Peacock, because what else would you think? Um, so I just decked her out in Peacock things. She has a fan, a mask, a dress, just lots of stuff. For teeth, I was at a loss again, and so I decided to do like a shark tooth kind of thing, so she was just wearing it, and then I have like Maui's kind of fish hook right there, because that's made out of teeth, right, or something, but um, I don't know, I didn't, I don't know, I don't think the idea for this one was as good as some of the others, but it's all good. And this one, I'm just glad I got it done, because I was stuck on this page forever, it was just blank for the longest time. I just decided, oh, paper airplanes, because why not? I honestly, this page just took me forever. On to what has to be my most elaborate drawing in here. We have Hope. So for this, I was kind of going like Pandora's box. So there's all the illnesses and ailments that came out of the box. And then at the very bottom, there's Hope. She's surrounded by the most light. And it's really happy and fun, kind of like that. I like it. It was really fun to draw and make. This one is yet another where my original idea had changed. I had foods I find disgusting on here and then I decided to change it to this. I don't know why, but this is what you get. Um, I don't like it, but at least I like it more than these ones. These ones, I don't know why these exist, but they do. We have the girl who's slipping on ice because why not? That's a lot of what happens when I draw, just why not? And then there's this, which I just had, this is the first thing I came up with. This is like, I saw this in my head, I'm like, yes, I must draw that. And I looked at it, and I was like, mm, so good. And now I'm just like, why? <laughs> Luckily, it's followed by two of the most beautiful drawings in this book, uh, at least that I find. I love the girl on the left and this, the difference on the right. I just think, I don't know, there's so little on the left and so much on the other side. So this, I was playing around with a different pose, and then for the scenery, I just love drawing scenery. I've done it since I was a child. I used to do a bunch of little crazy things on those fake laptops you used to make for yourselves, you know, on a paper. Um, so it was just really nice to sit down and just do scenery. So these are, I like it, I like to keep saying this. I'm so sorry, but I keep saying I love everything. I just do. Um, but so we have the rocket, and then we have Storm. I think I prefer Rocket over Storm. She's wearing her little rocket boosters, which is really fun. Um, and then on the other side, we have Storm, which is, um, she has lightning powers, kind of. And I had a character like this once that I would draw all the time and lightning all the time. So just a nice little blast from the past. And here you have an example of me being smart. So I had Trap on one side, and I did this one 
upside down on purpose though so that way I could just see it out better and so she's hanging upside down when I finish and it looks super cool I love it it just oh it looks so good I think it's like just the hair the shoes kind of like realistic it was super cool I was actually in class I was kind of like picking at my feet like how do shoes work um but then on this other side I have Dizzy so she got hit in the head with a ball we don't know how we don't know why but she did and it's bouncing off so she's just very dizzy she sings stars and everything so it's which is really fun. I think I have to say again, I love the juxtaposition of these two as well, just because you have so much on the left and so little on the right, just so complex and so simple. Um, I don't know, that was completely by accident, but I love the coral one. Um, and I okay, have to admit, I had to Google the definition of coral to make sure it was not coral. So I wasn't in a completely different theme. I almost went with a seahorse cowboy, uh, thing that would have been weird but I love this so much more it just looks so nice I'm so happy with how it turned out I love this little seahorse right now he's so cute I love him so much he's just oh I can't believe I got it turned out I love everything it's just so good I'm sorry I'm just gushing over it I'm just it looks amazing and I can't believe how it turned out after all that craziness it's really nice to do this simple one right here I just took a picture of me laying down to kind of understand how that works I guess and then just had like her on a cloud because she's asleep and dreaming and she has like the stars and the moon hanging above her just really simple really nice and just nice and fun you know on this next page you know what's serious because I whipped out a background Kind of. So we have the chef. I think she looks great in her little, you know, chef outfit with the little background. Uh, it's just really fun. And then I have my skeleton, skeleton, on this other side. And she's dead in the grave. So it's rip, you know. Yeah, this is the only thing I could think of for this. But it's really fun. Uh, she's a bride. She's all sad. Her flowers are dead. But, you know, she's still waiting for that one guy, you know. <laughs> And now we got this lady with her crazy hair. She's just digging up some flowers or digging up dirt to put her flowers in. Just planting, you know, having a good old time. Uh, I love her hair. It, just, it was just fun to draw. It, yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> And surprise, surprise, here's another design that got changed. Originally, she had a dragon as a buddy, and then that did not look good, so I erased it from existence. And then she was going to have a different dragon, and that also got erased from existence. And now she has an Arctic fox. Because, again, my life motto, why not? Because, yeah. And for hide, we got a girl in a cape because uh, she's uh, trying to hide, you know? Anyways, music! Okay, so when I saw this prompt, literally the first thing that came into my head is, ah, yes, I must have a short, angry person holding a ukulele over their head as a weapon. I don't know why. Literally, that is the first thought that came into my head, and so I drew it, but... Yeah, it was weird. I was holding my ukulele over my head and, like, taking pictures. My sister's like, what are you doing? And then it switches over into the room I wish I had. I mean, oh, look at that swinging hammock. It's, so, it's floating, but it's swing. I don't care. It looks so good. I love it. I want that room. I want that book. Oh, I'm just so... This is, like, my dream room, guys. I just, like, drew my dream room for you, Hope. Hopefully it will come true. And then, again, simplicity on the other side. I drew a girl in shoes. There were going to be more... But then I made the unwise decision to, like, ink the shoes, and then I was like, oh, I'll ink the line. And then I inked the line, I was like, wait, I can't draw any more shoes. So I just left it, because, you know, simplicity is better sometimes, and I need that in my life. We're at the end, so for ominous, I have a mysterious crow in a tree, because that's supposed to be bad luck if there's just one. And then there's a more mysterious person in a cloak with their hands stretched out, oh my goodness, and then a spooky old tree, because... Again, why not? Um, and then we have my favorite drawing in this book. This is Arachne. I love her. Um, my friend suggested, like, you should do spiders. I'm like, I hate spiders. I don't want to do spiders. And then I was like, wait, I don't have to do a spider. I can do a human slash spider thing. Holding human eyes. I don't know how that part came in. That just happened. I was just like, you know, going along with the drawing. I'm like, you should add eyes in like a bouquet and I was like okay so that's just what happened um I love it though I think it turned out so nice it just looks so good I'm very happy with how it came out this is my favorite I'm sorry I'm gushing well favorite between all the other scenery background ones I've done so I'm bad at choosing but 
I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and please subscribe to me if you haven't already. Um, I try to do uploads as often as possible. And I'll see you guys soon.